welcome to World in Days, where we bring the globe to your screen. Today, we embark on an exhilarating four-day journey through Tokyo, Japan's dazzling capital. A city where ancient tradition intertwines with futuristic innovation, Tokyo offers a kaleidoscope of experiences. From serene temples and historic landmarks to neon-lit skyscrapers and cutting-edge technology, this city is a melting pot of contrasts. Join us as we dive into the heart of Tokyo, exploring its rich history, vibrant culture, and tantalizing cuisine. Get ready to experience Tokyo like never before. Today, we're exploring the heart of this dynamic city. We'll start at the Imperial Palace, a symbol of tradition amidst modernity. Then, we'll head to the upscale streets of Ginza for some luxury shopping and art. Our day will end high above the city lights at Tokyo Tower, offering breathtaking views. Prepare for a day filled with historic elegance and modern splendor, right here in central Tokyo. Start your Tokyo journey with a traditional Japanese breakfast at Yisu Hatsu Fuji. Experience the authentic flavors of a Japanese morning, from grilled fish and miso soup to tamagoyaki. In the heart of Tokyo lies the Imperial Palace, the primary residence of the Japanese Emperor. This majestic complex, encircled by stone walls and moats, stands on the former site of Edo Castle. It's a remarkable blend of Japan's esteemed history and present-day royalty. While the inner grounds are not open to the public, the East Gardens offer a tranquil escape with their pristine landscapes and historical ruins. For lunch, we would head to Sukiyabashi Gyro, indulge in sushi at this legendary Michelin-styled restaurant. Each piece of sushi here is a work of art, crafted with the freshest ingredients and decades of expertise. Next, we wander through the glamorous Ginza district, Tokyo's premier shopping and entertainment area. Known for its high-end boutiques, art galleries, and exclusive restaurants, Ginza is a symbol of luxury and refinement. The district's history as a commercial center date back to the Edo period, making it a fascinating blend of the past and the present. Don't miss the iconic Wako building, a landmark showcasing exquisite architecture. Our day concludes at the iconic Tokyo Tower, an emblem of Japan's post-war rebirth and modernization. Standing at 333 meters, this red and white lattice tower offers panoramic views of the sprawling city below. Modeled after the Eiffel Tower, it's a testament to Japan's rapid advancement and global influence. The tower's observation decks provide a spectacular vantage point to witness Tokyo's breathtaking skyline. Conclude with dinner at this lively izakaya. Watch chefs grill skewers of meat and vegetables over an open hearth, accompanied by a variety of sake. As we conclude our first day in Tokyo, we've experienced the elegant blend of imperial history and modern sophistication, setting the stage for the exciting days ahead. It's day two in Tokyo, and today is all about tradition. We start our journey in Asakusa, home to the venerable Sensoji Temple, immersing ourselves in Tokyo's rich history. Later, we'll stroll through Wino Park, a haven of culture and nature, before diving into the electric streets of Akihabara. From ancient temples to modern anime, today is a testament to Tokyo's timeless charm. Begin your day with ninyo-yaki, sweet bean-filled cakes, near Sensoji. These small, delightful treats are shaped like dolls and animals, offering a sweet start to your morning. We start day two in Asakusa, the heart of old Tokyo. Here, the main attraction is Sensoji, Tokyo's oldest and most significant temple. Founded in 645 AD, 
This ancient Buddhist temple was built to honor Kanon, the goddess of mercy. Its majestic thunder gate, giant lantern, and bustling Nakamai's shopping street offer a vibrant atmosphere that blends spirituality with lively commerce. This area is a living piece of Tokyo's history, showcasing traditional culture and architecture. Our afternoon takes us to Wino Park, a spacious green haven famous for its museums, zoo, and cherry blossoms. The park's history as part of a temple complex during the Edo period adds to its cultural depth. It's home to several major museums, including the Tokyo National Museum, which houses an extensive collection of art and antiquities from Japan and other Asian countries. The Wino Zoo, Japan's oldest zoo, is also located here, offering a pleasant family-friendly experience. For the delightful lunch, we enjoy savor unagi, grilled eel, at a local restaurant. Unagi is a delicacy in Japan, known for its tender texture and rich, savory sauce. We conclude our day in Akihabara, Tokyo's electric town. This district is a paradise for fans of anime, manga, and all things electronics. Post we, Akihabara gained fame for its black market electronic goods and has since evolved into the center of Japan's otaku culture. Its vibrant streets are lined with stores selling everything from the latest tech gadgets to rare collectibles, making it a fascinating destination for tech enthusiasts and pop culture fans alike. End your day with casual dining at an izakaya. These Japanese pubs offer a variety of small dishes, perfect after a day of exploring. Our journey through Tokyo's traditional side today has revealed the city's deep-rooted history and vibrant culture, reminding us of the timeless charm that underlies this modern metropolis. Rise and shine. Day 3 in Tokyo takes us to the epicenters of fashion and culture Shibuya and Harajuku. We'll begin in the serene surroundings of the Meiji Shrine, a peaceful contrast to the bustling city. Then, we'll hit the vibrant streets of Tokashita, where fashion knows no bounds. Our day ends at the iconic Shibuya Crossing, a symbol of Tokyo's fast-paced life. Get ready for a day of style, spirituality and street vibes. Start your day with a famous Harajuku crepe from a street vendor. These sweet or savory crepes are a must try, packed with choices like whipped cream, fresh fruit, or even ice cream. Begin day three adventure with the serene Meiji Shrine, dedicated to the deified spirits of Emperor Meiji and his consort, Empress Shokan, Nestled in a lush forest, this Shinto shrine is a symbol of peace and renewal. The shrine's traditional architecture, towering Tori eye gates, and tranquil gardens offer a peaceful respite from the bustling city. The shrine is a significant site of Shinto worship and plays a crucial role in Japan's cultural and spiritual landscape. Next, we explore the vibrant Takashita Street in Harajuku, the birthplace of many of Japan's youth fashion trends. This narrow street is packed with trendy boutiques, vintage clothing stores, and unique cafes. The area is a hub for kawaii, cute, culture, and is famous for its imaginative and often eccentric street fashion. Harajuku style has left a lasting impact on global fashion, making this street a must-visit for fashion enthusiasts. For lunch, we enjoy Okinamayaki, a Japanese savory pancake at a local eatery. Loaded with a variety of ingredients, this dish is a flavorful representation of Japanese comfort food. From the fashionable streets of Harajuku, we head to the bustling energy of Shibuya, our adventure in Shibuya starts at the Hachiko statue, a tribute to Japan's most loyal dog, 
and moves to the famous Shibuya Crossing, a symbol of Tokyo's bustling urban life. This iconic intersection, possibly the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world, encapsulates the fast-paced and energetic spirit of Tokyo. The surrounding area is a hot spot for shopping, dining, and entertainment, reflecting the vibrant and youthful energy of the city. End your day at Uabe Shibuya Dogen Zaka. It is a unique sushi restaurant, known for delivering sushi via high-speed conveyor belts, a modern twist on traditional sushi dining. Day 3's adventure through the fashionable streets of Harajuku and the bustling energy of Shibuya has showcased Tokyo's dynamic and trend-setting spirit, a city always on the move. Welcome to our final day in Tokyo with World in Days. Today, we explore the modern marvels of this incredible city. We're starting at Odaiba, Tokyo's futuristic island followed by the upscale Roppongi Hills, a hub of contemporary art and architecture. Our journey concludes with a visit to the soaring Tokyo Skytree, where we'll get a bird's eye view of this magnificent metropolis. Join us as we experience the cutting edge side of Tokyo. For a perfect day, try a fusion breakfast at this charming Cafe D Mickey. Enjoy Hello Kitty-themed pancakes and lattes in a cute, Instagrammable setting. After breakfast, head to Odaiba, a futuristic island in Tokyo Bay. Originally built for defensive purposes, Odaiba has transformed into a popular leisure and tourist spot. It's home to cutting-edge attractions like the Maraikan Museum, showcasing Japan's advancements in science and technology, and Pallet Town, a shopping and entertainment complex. The island also offers stunning views of the Rainbow Bridge and the Tokyo skyline. Leaving the playful atmosphere of Odaiba, we move to the sophisticated Roppongi Hills, a modern urban development in the Roppongi district. This upscale area blends art, culture, business, and leisure, making it a symbol of Tokyo's contemporary urban landscape. The Mori Art Museum, located in the Roppongi Hills Mori Tower, hosts a variety of contemporary art exhibits and offers an observation deck with spectacular views of the city. Enjoy a sophisticated meal at Roppongi Hills Club exclusive dining venue, with its elegant ambience and panoramic city views, it's a perfect spot to enjoy a luxurious meal. We conclude our Tokyo adventure with a visit to the Tokyo Skytree, the tallest structure in Japan and the second tallest in the world. This broadcasting tower is a marvel of engineering and architecture, symbolizing Tokyo's sky-reaching ambitions. The Skytree features two observation decks offering breathtaking views over Tokyo and beyond. It's a fitting finale to our journey, offering a literal and metaphorical high point to our exploration of this incredible city. End your adventure with a sky-high dinner. Savor a fusion of Japanese and Western cuisines with a mesmerizing view of Tokyo's skyline. As we end our fourth day, Tokyo has unveiled its futuristic and innovative face, leaving us in awe of this city that beautifully marries the cutting edge with the traditional. The best time to visit Tokyo largely depends on your interests, but generally, the most favorable periods are during spring and autumn, Spring is one of the best times to visit Tokyo. The weather is pleasantly warm, and the city is not too humid. Spring is famously known for the cherry blossom, sakura, season, usually peaking around late March to early April. The city's parks and temples are beautifully adorned with cherry blossoms, making it a picturesque time for sightseeing and outdoor activities. 
Autumn is another excellent time to visit. The weather is comfortable, with mild temperatures and less rainfall. It's the season of Koyo, autumn leaves, where the foliage in parks and gardens turns vibrant shades of red, orange and yellow. This season offers a stunning natural backdrop for visiting temples, shrines and parks. Tokyo's summer can be hot and humid, and it's also the rainy season, particularly in June. However, it's a vibrant time for festivals like fireworks displays and traditional Matsuri celebrations. Winters are generally cold, but not extreme. While you won't see the lush gardens and parks in bloom, it's a great time to experience winter illuminations, hot springs, and potentially lower travel costs. There's also the chance to enjoy winter sports in nearby regions. Ultimately, the best time to visit depends on the experiences you're looking for and your tolerance for varying weather conditions. Here are some tips to make the most of your four-day Tokyo itinerary. Get a Suica or PASMO card for convenient travel on public transportation. Consider a Tokyo Metro Pass for unlimited travel on subway lines. Taxes can be expensive. Try to use public transport as much as possible. Carry a phrasebook or translation app, as English is not widely spoken. Learn basic Japanese phrases like arigatou, thank you, and suma mason, excuse me. Remember to remove shoes when entering someone's home or certain traditional places. Bowing is a common form of greeting. Be respectful when visiting temples and shrines. While credit card acceptance is increasing, many places in Tokyo still prefer cash. Always carry some cash, especially when visiting smaller shops or eateries. Rent a pocket Wi-Fi or buy a local SIM card to stay connected. Google Maps is very helpful for navigating the city and public transport. We are comfortable walking shoes, as you'll be walking a lot. Dress in layers to adjust to changing weather conditions. Be adventurous with food. Try local delicacies. Note that it's common to wait in line at popular restaurants. Tipping is not customary in Japan. Popular attractions can be crowded. Try to visit them early in the morning. Check the opening days and hours of attractions as some may be closed on certain days. Look for unique Japanese souvenirs like yukata, Japanese tea, or sake. Visit 100 yen shops for affordable gifts and knickknacks. Tokyo is generally very safe, but always be aware of your belongings in crowded areas. Pharmacies are widely available. However, bring any necessary medications with you. Make reservations for popular restaurants and attractions if possible. Have a flexible itinerary. Sometimes spontaneous discoveries are the best part of travel. Explore areas like Shinjuku and Shibuya for vibrant nightlife. Be mindful of the last train times to return to your accommodation. By following these tips, you'll be well prepared to enjoy your Tokyo adventure to the fullest. And that wraps up our incredible four-day journey through Tokyo. We hope this journey has inspired you to explore the wonders of Tokyo. Remember, every corner of this city has a story to tell, and the experiences we've shared are just the beginning. Tokyo is a city that constantly evolves, and there's always something new and exciting to discover. If you enjoyed this Tokyo series, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to World in Days for more travel adventures around the globe. We're excited to bring you more destinations, cultures, and stories in our upcoming videos. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and we'll see you in our next adventure. Sayonara.